20 years, that was the sentence handed down to former North Charleston police officer Michael Slager today. We have team coverage tonight from the federal courthouse in downtown Charleston. Our team has been there for all of the proceedings from the state trial, which ended in a hung jury, to this federal sentencing hearing. We were there as Walter Scott's family learned the fate of the man who shot and killed their beloved son, brother, and father. Bill Sharp joining me now. Bill, an emotional ending to a case that has sparked controversy not only here in the Low Country, but all across the nation. And today, Debbie, there was nothing like today in terms of emotion crying from both families. We'll get into that in just a minute. In the meantime, the family of Walter Scott says justice was served today by the 20 year prison sentence given out to Michael Slager by Judge David Norton. But the family says that still hasn't erased the pain of the past two and a half years since this tragic shooting occurred. Police reporter Harp Jacobs joins me now. Harp, some of the family members said in court they've had to relive the shooting over and over and over again when they see that infamous video. Yeah, Bill, that cell phone video of the shooting. In fact, Walter Scott's brother, one of his brothers said he's seen his, his, his brother killed on video thousands of times. That's exactly what he said. The Scott family says today was an historic day because a white police officer is going to prison for killing an unarmed black man. Their words. They praise Faden Santana, who shot the cell phone video of the shooting, saying without that video, Michael Slager might still be on the police force. They also noted how the death of their loved one brought about change with a law requiring body cameras for police officers. Bill, Walter Scott's brother Rodney said, now that uh, Michael Slager's on his way to prison, it's time to move on, but he said the family will never, ever forget what happened. So move on and forgive, but never forget. Right. Police reporter Harv Jacobs. There was emotion, a lot of it, on both sides of the aisle, both families. At one point, Michael Slager himself broke down on the witness stand. Alexis Simmons has more on the emotion of the day. Alexis? Well, Michael Slager and Walter Scott's family were trying to fight back tears as they were in the courtroom sharing their statements about their loved ones. Now, Slager's wife said that her heart breaks, that she can't redo what happened, and that she asked the ju judge for mercy. Now, that's one of the first times uh, today in court we actually got to learn more about Walter Scott's interests. His family talked about how he sang in the church choir, was a family man, and loved to play board games. Now, several members also took their time to say they forgive. Michael Slager and that there was various moments when Slager wiped away his tears as you mentioned Bill. Now take a listen to what Walter Scott's brother had to say after the sentencing. But we are had held high and proud to be here today and, and, and still seeking justice for Walter and the process you know other families may not receive this but we have set a, 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 a road map for them to follow, to believe in God, and try to keep the peace. Goes out to the other families that did not receive justice. Now, Walter Scott's brother also mentioned some of the good that has come out of this case in the fact that there's a state body cam law that is going to be requiring all law enforcement officers to wear body cameras. Back to you, Bill. Alexis, thank you. We believe Michael Slager is in the Charleston County Jail tonight, awaiting his sentencing. At some point, the feds at the federal level will decide where to send him somewhere in the country in the federal penal system. In the meantime, both sides, I think, both families feel now is a time for the healing to begin. Debbie, I'll throw it back to you. Thank you, Bill, Harv, and Alexis downtown. A number of officials have made statements following the sentencing, but before the official sentencing was handed down, State Representative Wendell Gilliard said whatever the decision, both families will be negatively impacted. He went on to say, we the people are all responsible in some way because of the rise in hate and prejudice in our society. He said we need more participants and fewer critics to keep moving toward a positive change. We'll continue to bring you any updates and the absolute latest moving forward. Also, legal analyst Charlie Condon will join me tonight with more on guidelines used to decide this sentence.